I think I've wanted to be an artist since I was five years old. And I can remember we had a fireplace in our house trying to draw the fire and being kind of frustrated because the flames kept moving and the colors kept changing, but it was important to try. My name is Frances Valesco and I'm an artist. I like doing observational work, which means I'm looking at the actual environment and trying to make sense of it in some way. In a way, you're taking kind of an ordinary experience and by shining a light on it, making it extraordinary. I think that 50% of an art piece is what the artist brings to it and the other 50% is what other people bring to it. Creating my art all these years got me interested in sharing my art with others, especially through the medium of teaching. I love to teach because it's a great exchange. I mean, I love the idea of having a student have this aha moment. And then I also get a lot from the exchange, from the conversations. I want to draw them out. I want to see what they're, to start where they are and then enable them to find out what's inside them and let that flower. The reason I started doing murals is that I saw it as an artist's way of making an impact and that art can be a means for creating community. My most favorite mural that I worked on, I would say, is the one in Balmy Alley. There were about 25 or 30 muralists that were working in the alley. We all had different ideas of what we wanted to do. Mine was based on an Aesop's fable, the contest of the sun and the wind. The idea of that through gentle means you can change people faster than you can do by strong force. So that mural is one that I started in the 1980s and it still stands today. I've said something, I've marked that space. People are still getting my message. As an artist, I tend to follow the opportunities as they come to me. I just, for some reason, saw an ad that there was an artist residency in Hungary, in Budapest, Hungary, and I said, I have to go there. I have to go there to make art. The passion for my art and taking me all around the world starts with remembering what that five-year-old mind was. So I put myself in that same place by my travels because often I go to countries where I don't speak the language. Uh, I just have to relate to the landscape in the way that I related to that fire. What does it take to be an artist to persevere, to believe that you are right in what you're doing and to see something grow before your eyes on a piece of paper or a wall or whatever it is and to feel that that's right.